Hey, how's it going, fam? It's Don here from Peggy and Don. As a lot of our viewers know, we recently went out to a campsite to try to work on our survival skills. And while we was out there, a funny thing happened. We had a great time. <laughs> we was able to get out and get some walking in, and we saw some beautiful scenery. Um, and we ended up smiling almost the entire time that we were out there. It's really good for a couple to get out and just have some fun together. And that's what Peggy and I did. Well, on the way out there, we passed by the uh, RV campers that were on the site. And that guy's a little bit curious. We visited the facilities they had and we saw the showers and we saw the uh, sinks, washroom area. They had a laundry room. The bathrooms were well maintained, nice and clean and everything. So I was a little bit surprised by how well maintained it was. And that's when this shocking thing happened. Now, when we leave here, there's a camp thing, a campsite. I don't know what you call it, but yeah. we're gonna go talk to them and see if we can rent one for the weekend. Yeah. So that brings us here. Peg and I went to a, a local RV sales center to try to look at some camper type model to see what we might be interested in. We started off with this uh, basic camper. It's a 19 footer, 3,000 pounds, easily towed, cost about 17 grand. The pros is less expensive and it's easy to tow, but the cons are it's built for just camping, short term travel, and getaways. Peg and I started thinking maybe we might want to do this thing long term, but we want to take a look at this, and we were really surprised. Here is the salesman, Adam. So this is a uh, queen bed up front. This is a small dinette booth. This will fold out and make into a bed as well. Oh, okay. So, and then there's storage underneath of both of it, storage underneath the front bed, all your storage across the top, storage there, small refrigerator and freezer, stove, storage, pantry, and then you have a huge closet. And they got a little burner here. They had to sing. Basically everything you need for a very, very secure camping experience. And the price was right. So of course we didn't start there. We decided to move up and look at the travel trailers, which is built for longer term type living situations. Um, it's much larger, of course, like, like I said, it's set for long term, um, but there's a bunkhouse in there, which probably ended up being wasted space. Here's a little bit more from Adam. From here, look at all that. You're gonna have outside refrigerator, and this is a little cooktop to where you can put your uh, skillet on here because you got a 110 outlet that's inside there. Oh, okay. This blue coiled hose is for a spray port that's on the back of the camper. Yeah. So once I'm finished cooking, I'm gonna spray everything off back here. So going inside, you start to see that the uh, more floor space is ideal if you're gonna be in your camper for a long period of time. Much less clamp cramped and much less claustrophobic. Now we're gonna have a, a full slide out on it. So that's gonna open up. Oh, it bump, okay, it. yeah. So now this will fold down and make into another full size bed. Storage all underneath of it. Are two big bunks in the back. Yep. That bottom bunk how it's open on the bottom, that'll actually lift up to where, depending on, like say you have a camper shell in the truck. I can take my bikes and put my bikes in there rather than trying to shove them in the back of the truck. Exactly. Be a lot easier to do it that way. But now we're going to a bigger refrigerator and freezer. Yeah. We have a stove and an oven. Okay. Ooh. Tons more countertop space bigger sink and then now in the bathroom you will have a sink toilet oh, and shower. Okay. so now you're going to get everything all in one yeah so going a little bit bigger on my small ones i got to compact everything it's like yeah right, i got to lose something because i'm making it small yeah. well now there's a sink in the bathroom or here i have the sink in the bathroom with the medicine cabinet vanity storage over there and then your toilet and shower but then now you're going to get Got a the bedroom. separate bedroom yeah. because yeah. you'll have pocket doors that'll close this off to where you can have the full bedroom. You have storage on either side. And then also on that side over there, 
there's actually a laundry chute yeah. that will go out to your outside storage compartment. <laughs> throw, throw the dirty clothes right there in the little laundry it's, chute. I like this one a little better. I know, yeah, but not enough better to make the, yeah. the price difference for me. Because it'll always only be a... Oh, dang. <laughs> so now oh, here, this will have a full bunk room in the back. But then over here on this side, you have to have a half bath. But then back behind here, this is all storage, all storage. <laughs> oh, so, no bunk beds. And we don't need them. And look how big that TV just got. So, this couch will fold out, make into a full size bed. Recliners can fold down. I mean, they almost lay completely flat. This one we ordered with table and chairs instead of a dinette booth. Okay. So this is this is a targeting mom and dad. Yeah. With no kids. If yeah. the kids come along, you I'll pull that out. Up. If not, I'm gonna throw an air mattress on the floor for them. There I'll be go. nice. Yeah. I'll take the tent. We'll leave it in the back of the truck. But then now you're gonna have a bigger iron, more countertop space, bigger pantry. Look at that, you got pendant lights, got full headroom. Why do we need a house? <laughs> I'm saying, see, she's on, a, she's on some, some kind of high right now. This is a house. This, this is the one I want. Okay, don't show us anything else. But I like this one. This is a shock. It's not that different from the other one we just saw. I mean, it looks the better. Floor, the floor plan on, in the kitchen and living room area is mm -hmm. essentially the same, except my living room is bigger because I move my slides back and I take those bunks out and I shove a couch back there. Yep. So you're getting more seating area in this one compared to the other one. You're getting more storage in this one compared to the other one. You're getting nicer countertops. These actually are stone countertops where the other ones are rolled for mica. And then you'll still get your full bathroom. And this one that has the walkthrough bathroom to the bedroom. Wow. <laughs> right, this worry, is amazing. Look. But then like I said, you have hangers on either side storage across the top and then like i said this goes to the outside storage compartment the laundry just on this side yeah just the laundry chute i mean honestly people on the lake had these yeah yesterday. yeah they did i see why i'm telling you i think we could live on this for a year I, why couldn't we you could Grinning here to ear, like, oh, honey, this is it. Baby, we take four days to get to the Grand Canyon. Got the park just over by the Grand Canyon. We had a view right there over the side of the cliff and over the out the back windows and everything. So, yeah. Oh, you keep it buckled so you can drive without the door flying yeah. up against the thing. <laughs> and then your TV will swivel. Yeah. So if you're out here, you can take it out and swivel it this way. So across oh. sitting over underneath this side of the awning. You can. <laughs> this is a full living situation, baby. I love it. You might be a traveler instead of a, a homesteader. Well, fam, it looks like Piggy and I have a decision to make. Um, this is really impressive. Uh, Peggy and I are travelers and we really love getting away. And this just seems like the great way to do it. Uh, we're gonna have to do our research, of course. We're gonna be looking at comparing how the cost of living for our current lifestyle compared to what this would be. Um, but in all honesty, I believe that saving, even with the savings, even besides the savings, the idea of living out there and traveling and seeing more sites is what's really appealing to us. We're going to be traveling to another uh, RV store, uh, Camping World, today. Um, and after we do enough research, we're going to be making a decision. But I can just tell you right now that the way we're feeling, we are going to be getting out on the road sometime in the near future. We appreciate you guys joining us and uh, we just look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Thanks for joining us.